Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. Today I have a question from a viewer. It is, I want to add outlets to my garage that will provide 3,600 watts, 2,880 continuous for tools that is GFCI protected. Can you outline how this would be done? First, let's find out what is meant by a continuous load. This is from Article 100 of the 2023 NEC. Continuous load, a load where the maximum current is expected to continue for three hours or more. So we have 2,880 watts of continuous load, 720 watts of non-continuous load, and that equals 3,600 watts of total load. And as a refresher, volts times amps equals watts. So as an example, if we had 120 volts and 10 amps, that is 1,200 watts. Now let's see what the NEC has to say about handling continuous loads. This is 2023 NEC 210.191A. General, branch circuit conductors shall have an ampacity not less than the larger of the following and comply with 110.14C for equipment terminations. One, where a branch circuit supplies continuous loads or any combination of continuous and non-continuous loads, the minimum branch circuit conductor size shall have an opacity not less than the non-continuous load plus 125% of the continuous load in accordance with 310.14. So when a 20 amp branch circuit supplies a totally non-continuous load, it could supply up to 120 volts times 20 amps, which equals 2,400 watts. But the proposed 20 amp branch circuits in our garage will supply a mix of continuous and non-continuous loads. So each of the branch circuits will only be able to supply 1,920 watts. 1,920 watts times 125 percent equals 2400 watts. Another way to figure that is 2400 watts times 80 percent equals 1920 watts. It comes out the same whether you multiply the 1920 times 1.25 which is 125 percent that comes out to 2400 watts or you could take the 2400 watts and multiply it by 80 percent and that comes out to 1920 watts. A continuous loaded circuit can only be loaded up to 80%. So two 20 amp circuits, that would be 1920 watts times two equals 3840 watts could supply a total of 3840 watts, which is more than his specification of 3600 watts. So two 20 amp circuits will do the job. An excellent way to do this would be to use two 20 amp GFCI circuit breakers to serve the two 20 amp branch circuits for the garage. I hope that this has been helpful. Thanks and happy wiring!